Hi, welcome to online digital marketing training. In this video, I'm explaining about Facebook Pixel. So, uh, you might have seen whenever you go to e commerce website like Amazon, Flipkart, eBay, any e commerce website, and assume that you want to buy a shoes, you selected a product, you add to cart, but due to some reasons, you haven't uh, purchased the product. And later on that, whenever you came back to Facebook or Instagram, the same product you might have seen in a sponsored ads means those websites are retargeting you. This retargeting or remarketing is possible with the help of this Facebook pixel only. So I'm going to explain in this video what is Facebook pixel and uh, how to install the code and how it will work. See, I've already uh, installed that pixel code on my ODMT website. So see here it is firing and it is giving the events. It will show you what it is tracking. So same like a Google Analytics, Google Analytics track, right? In the same way, Facebook Pixel also do a lot of things. How many page views you have, how many leads you have, how many view content you have, and more information over here. So what are the page views? What are the URLs actually people have viewed? Pretty good information over here. So I can see the URLs here. You can see what are the URLs people have come on which. So this is very important, guys. You have a website and you're running a Facebook ads, and uh, you're not using a Facebook Pixel code means you are missing a lot. Okay, so you need Facebook Pixel. So let me help you in how to do that. So I'm I'm just taking example of a, a sample Facebook ads manager. And I'll be explaining before that. So what is Facebook pixel? Which is a small JavaScript code. This you're going to place on your website, which will fire. It will track everything with the help of event tracking. It will help you a lot anyway. So in this, just pause and watch it. Everything they explained. So here they're talking about pixel. They're talking about event conversion analytics, custom audience. So I'm going to make a separate videos on each of them. This video, I'm talking only about the Facebook pixel. Requirement. Many people ask questions like, with my profile, can I do pixel? You need a Facebook page, first of all. Second thing is, you should have using Ads Manager, you should have access to your website, then only you can use the Facebook pixel code. Okay, right. And how to install it. Then I'm going to show you. Go to facebook.com slash ads manager. And here top left, there is an option. If you try to watch some other videos on YouTube, the version is something else here. Three lines will be there, but it's a new update. Now there is no three lines. Click on that. Here. Click on events manager. Okay. Or else down here, click on the events manager. Here they give some information. Yes, see here showing Facebook pixel track website activities. You can also do offline events and uh, app events. So I'll be explaining in the later videos as of now just stick with the Facebook pixel. So they clearly instructed over here how to do this. Click on get started. Here is the code actually. So track website conversion using pixel. What is the pixel name on which website you want to track? So here, uh, one of my client website, wedding shot dot in, it's a wedding photography website. I would like to track on this. Remember, one website, one pixel code. And uh, that's it. You, should, you, you can't paste more uh, pixels on the website. So we can continue. And one more thing, one ads manager, only one pixel. That's the reason you should use business Facebook business manager in my previous video I've already explained uh, go to uh, YouTube type ODMT click on this and you'll be having access to all my videos there you'll be finding okay click on continue there are uh, different ways of uh, pasting the code so 
if you are not a developer just send the code to the developer he'll be doing or else you just manually paste it on your website in the head section which we done many times pasting the code on the head section so you can do it but i suggest you to go with the partner integration this is much easier way so go with this option so many of the things you don't have to do it so click on the partner integration like you might have using uh, wordpress shopify or wix.com or many other they clearly explained here magento drupal select your partner here so it says wordpress i'm selecting wordpress if it is something else you can choose here yes when i selected wordpress they're suggesting you this download plugin after that go to settings install plugin activate plugin so everything i'm going to do it now select which features you would like to include in your wordpress integration advanced matching so let us go with this so they give something let me read here okay continue then so they're asking me to download the plugin i just click on the download plugin and after that i'll be uploading it okay so i'm came back to my wordpress dashboard click on the plugin and add new plugin what are the plugin we downloaded from here i'm going to upload over here yes click on upload plugin choose file yes this is the plugin and install now so i installed i have activated and after that i came back to settings so he also explained the same thing download the plugin if you continue go to settings is showing so this already done so i activated also okay so he is asking whether you have checked all these things on our second and third enable advanced matching to improve audience building enable server side api so then that's it click on save changes and after that verify connection is asking means uh, whether it is properly installed or not uh, they want to check so copy your website url paste it over here and send test traffic to your website from facebook then you will see here so wedding shop dot in slash fb click id through facebook it came now immediately come back here you see here to tell you whether it is firing or not whether it is active or not it's going to show you so after sending a test traffic it is showing that active means the pixel is firing it is tracking the details next click on continue it is asking to set up events also so it is asking to set up events events are very very important guys but i'm going to explain in the next video about events it's somewhat a big one anyway what is the important of event is when a people come back to website the pixel code what it is telling is whether the people came to this website or not it is tracking but when it comes to event tracking you can track whether people have clicked on the particular page or whether people clicked on the particular page or whether people purchase the product whether the people add to cart or they clicked on any of these buttons so it's a very very good option anyway but i'm not doing here i'll be doing in the next video just watch it as of now i just explained about the pixel only yes everything is done this is active now assume that you haven't pasted the code you want to do it later come back again uh, to ads manager click on events manager top right you have an option called setup click on setup and click on install pixel again the same process you can continue so whenever you miss this and here 
one more option is there called set up new events that's what i mentioned you want to track uh, individual activities on website how to do it we'll be doing i'll be making a next video next custom conversion people came here they converted you want to track so it's kind of a conversion tracking how to do it this also i'll be doing in the next video an important thing is audience so in the audience again you have a custom audience and look alike audience if you have a pixel and you all are doing a uh, you set up a new events custom audience will be very easy for you the use of custom audience is when you're running an ad for the first time you always target the new customers but people already came to the website you have some relationship with them they might be purchased the product but they haven't purchased so those people you want to target the custom audience is very helpful anyway so i'm going to make a separate video on that the custom videos please um, follow my videos and i'll try to put this link in the description just go through that and uh, let me show you my other pixel how it is triggering you see here the previous pixel also already firing and showing how many page views so uh, it's just a uh, two to three days data and how many leads we got how many view the content and i've already set up events also view content uh, set up leads page view everything i gave that's the reason it's firing it's giving a separate data also okay tracking type if i show you urls see people how many people been to thank you page means they fill the form 14 people been to thank you page so in the next video i'm going to cover this that's it guys this is about the pixel and uh, why pixel is important because you running a facebook ads and traffic is coming to the website and people who came and not converted you want to track them pixel is very very important at the same time on your website uh, different options you want to track a lead a view content a facebook pixel with the events tracking is very important and you want to track the conversion also important moreover if you want to create a custom audience or look alike audience facebook pixel is very very important according to research it said that 70% of the people are not using a pixel generally they are running the ads and they're saying that facebook ads is waste but try to use the pixel code and uh, then see the beauty of the facebook ad it's very good for you okay if you have any questions uh, come back to my channel and uh, put a comment so that i'll try to reply back okay thank you very much